Hello and welcome to free VBA tips. Today we are going to learn how we can fix a runtime error in VBA. This is the most common error that we get in VBA. So here is this runtime error and if I click on debug it will show something over here like this which some of you might get confused how to fix this and they keep getting this or or a good developer should always uh, ensure that error handling is done properly. So by error handling what I mean is that whenever there is error they should not get a debug they should get a prompt that what is missing because a layman might not understand what does this mean. So let us work on how we can uh, let us learn how we can uh, fix the runtime error in VBA. So let me just stop this code and see over here and close this file. So what it is doing is there are some files in my extract folder here this code is going to open each file and then select the sheet one. This is just a sample I have created just to make you understand. And let's click on this button. It will prompt for the file name and then it will open them one by one and close them, which actually does not make any sense. But this is just to make you understand. Attachment one. Okay. That is my first sample file. Then we have this one. Okay. I click on this one okay click on this one and then I get this error sub subscript out of range and runtime error 9 has come so the quick way to fix any error which I won't suggest is just write just write on error error resume next so what I am telling VBA is Whenever there is error, just resume next, just proceed, just move to next step. So let's see how this works. So if I just close this file and click on this one. Okay, I click on okay, okay, okay. And now I get done. So it means the error has not come. But by using on error resume next, we will not know if there is any error with any file. So for example, if the VBA code is not able to open this particular file. So I want to know which file it is not able to open. So in that scenario, we we'll, we are use, going to use a similar method, but in different ways so that we also know that what kind of error has come. So let's do one thing. So whenever there is error, we have to tell VBA to go somewhere that go and uh, do this thing if there is error. So let's write like this on error, go to error handler. Now I have created a label called error handler and whenever there is error the code will go there. So if I just create a label over here error handler then I can just put a message box there is error. Now whenever this particular code is executed it will always always uh, execute this error handler as well which I don't want. Because whenever the code is processed and we get done, after that there will be an error handler. There is error, which doesn't make any sense. So let us put exit sub over here. So what it means is, whenever code is running successfully, we end over here. But whenever there is error, there is error, the code will automatically go here and show you that there is an error. But if we get there is an error that doesn't make any sense. So we have to tell the error number or error description so that the user understand what kind of error it is. So let us type error err dot number and then I will put and mark over here ampersand and then I will also write error dot description. So what we are telling the code now is whenever there is error go to this particular error handler this label and then show the error number and the error description as well. So let us see how this works. I close here and I run cl click on this button. Okay this is my attachment 1, 2, 3. Okay. Okay now do you see error? Error number is 9 subscript out of range. It means it is not able to find the sheet that we were looking for which was sheet 1 in this file. So we click on OK. Say 
this was a very simple message if you want to pop up a red color message or a kind of critical message then we can just add comma bb critical over here and then run this code and see how this works one two three now you see this red code has come over here so this looks little better that there is some error message so that a person can see it so I hope uh, this error handling in VBA will help you to reduce your runtime error in your code. If you have any questions, you can ask me in comments. And I will also attach this particular code in the uh, description so that you can also see that how I have created the error handler. Thank you for watching and for similar kind of videos, you can subscribe to my channel. Take care and have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.